My name is Ivan Navarro. I take a lot of things from conceptual art, like to work with ideas and not necessarily with actual materials. I also work with music, but it's connected to my work. And I work with other artists. Sometimes I curate shows. So the whole practice cannot be uh, framed under the, the artistic, you know, or the artist. I think producer is more interesting for me. When I make the work, you usually have a departure moment where you say, okay, where is this idea come from? So, and then you say, okay, basically, you, f you look for metaphors, you know, to create different connections in order to communicate the same idea. But in order to get to that point, you know, you, like, uh, it takes forever. Like this piece, the homeless lamp, it, it took me two years to make it. And uh, it's such an interesting process when you finish it, but during the whole period, it's so confusing, it's so difficult to make that connection and also to keep the spirit of the original idea, which is very important. I think everything started with the, reading the book, The Mall People, about the life of homeless people in New York, specifically how they lived in the subway tunnels. And then what I was interested in is the different survival strategies that the homeless people, you know, have to use in order to, to live on the ground. So one of the things that called my attention was the relation they had with electricity as a source of, you know, everything. <laughs> uh, power, because they depend so much on electricity in order to live. When I was growing up in Chile, people realized that they depended so much on electricity, therefore the government would always control that and make people completely paralyzed. Blackouts were the perfect representation of all that, you know, because the way they would control the behavior of society. So the first thing I made was just a sculpture without a video, and that was called Homeless Lamp, because the idea was to make, metaphorically, a lamp that didn't have a house or a fixed place to be shown. So when I finished the cart, I felt that it wasn't complete, the piece. Just to make a, a shopping cart out of fluorescent light, it was too, kind of too connected to the idea of consumption. I wasn't that interested in going in, in that direction. I was interested in really working with a nomadic idea. Also, I was already working with pieces of furniture made out of light fixtures. So this was like a piece of furniture, but since it has wheels, it was possible to move it around. And that was, was interesting for me. Also, one day I was listening to this song that I love. It's a Mexican corrido called Juan Sin Tierra, which is Juan the Landless, which is similar to the idea of homeless. And then, boom, you just something appears, something magic, you know? Like, it's not even an inspiration. It's something like it makes, you, it makes a click, you know? You say, oh, everything comes together, right? Everything that I wanted to express with the work was there in the lyrics of the song. Mm -hmm. In a very poetic way, very metaphorical. I kind of put together both ideas, you know, the, the shopping cart and the lyrics. And that's when I decide to make a, a video documentation of this uh, shopping cart trying to find power outside a gallery space, because the idea was to bring it to different places that weren't necessarily fine art spaces. So I decided to take it to the street and do almost like a homeless person would do with its own shopping cart, like uh, going around the street or going around the city and finding power, food, whatever. So I realized that by opening a little tiny door in the base of the street lamps, you can actually find power and an outlet. And that's what I did. So I went to look for all those available outlets and connect the piece for maybe 15 minutes and take photograph, document it in video. And then I did that for five hours and then take everything back to the studio and review everything, 
check everything and then the video came up. <laughs>